people were in awe. I was never expecting that in my life. As thousands of lanterns filled the sky Saturday night. I've done a lot of things. This is the coolest thing I've ever done. It was a beautiful end to an ugly battle. The county had insisted the Sandia Speedway did not have the right permit to host the event. Organizers went ahead with it anyway. I don't regret doing it. Um, I think that I don't think nobody will. I think the county is going to be excited. They're going to be a part of uh, bringing a, a huge amount of money to Albuquerque. The county says that may be the case, but still there are rules. So officials say the speedway will be cited for hosting an event not allowed under their permit. The county's planning department will decide if that means fines or worse. They would lose their special use permit. The county says it does not want it to come to that. If you want to keep having these kind of events, then let them in your special use permit. Is that what you're going to try to do moving forward? Well, we're already discussing things with the county, and uh, if it takes an amendment. We'll work on that. Fagan is determined to host another Lantern Fest soon. Again, he thinks this unique event will mean big bucks for the county. Also, despite some concerns, Lantern Fest, we're told, did not spark any fires. As for litter, organizers say they did go around the immediate vicinity and make sure to pick up each one of these lanterns. But the county says they will check up on that. If they do find a lot of trash from the event, they will also cite the speedway for violating the litter ordinance. Live in South of Salvin Kirk, Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News.